Lovely, bro. I bought my first waist set when I was probably what? 15? Spent all my money on my last. Three ninety five. And what put you in a position to say like, this is what, even though you fell in love with it, what made you say this is what I want to do now? Shit, bro, it got to the point that I really didn't have a lot of options. It was, I knew I was good at it, you know what I mean? And that's what I was known for, so it's more like, why not? And what keeps your mind motivated? Because motivation is the number one key to work it out, to, to building your body and being and healthy and in shape. So what was, what, what, what keeps your mind motivated to say, I'm gonna get up this morning, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna reach that goal. Well, at this point, bro, I've accomplished so much. It's like, there's no reason I should. I've been struggling and, and hungry for so long. Now that I got a breakthrough, why stop now? Okay, what about before? Before, it was just more like I went through so much in my life that this was my, uh, this was my outbreak. Right, so I, I go work out and it's kind of like I'm in heaven. I'm in paradise. And no matter what's going on in the world, when I step foot in that gym, it's like, shit, I'm good. This this safe zone. I mean, I don't care what it is, like. Cause you know how some people, some people work out, but the only reason why they started working out cause, or, or, or some people get super big because they had issues in their childhood. Like, you know, a lot like bullying and stuff like that or anything like that. Have, have that ever been a, a, a thing to you? Nah, bro, because here's the deal, bro. Like a lot of people don't know I'm, I'm for the fitness world, I'm real calm and cool collected, but Shit, I grew up rough, bro. Like, oh, was, oh, I know. Was, trust me, was, I'm just asking because your camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm only asking for your camera because I know. I right, trust me, I already know. Yeah, so it's more <laughs> like everything you're telling me, I already know. I'm just asking again. Yeah, it's just, it's just like shit. I, I do it because I love that shit. And now it's more like we look up today. Look how big the fitness industry is. And tough. So they say tough so long. Look how many trainers it is. Look how many people doing their thing. It wasn't always like that, bro. I start off at Planet Fitness getting up at five or four o'clock in the morning. Have to be at Planet Fitness at five o'clock in the morning. And I would train people if they sign up. And only reason I get paid if they go through the course. So I'm up there for just pretty much my time and learning shit. Half the time I'm not getting paid. So, you know, it's, it's, it's deeper than people can even imagine, bro. And what made you say you wanted to open your own business instead of still hanging around at another person's establishment? Well, bro, I worked at, my whole career, I worked at two uh, two mainstream corporate uh, gyms. Uh, I learned a lot, man, and I seen how things can go, and I just knew myself, like, you can do that? Yeah, hell yeah. I put too much in, bro. I mean, I'm a whole vibe with people. So it's like, when you deal with me, it's like, it's, it's a whole different vibe, because you're going to learn some things for life. And you're gonna meet a great, a dope person, you know what I mean? Like, shit, every, when you build a relationship with bond with people, bro, it's different. That's where you draw the line, like, I don't really deal with people. But you meet somebody like me, it's like, damn, okay, he cool. Yeah. And then the respect thing. You got to think, bro, I've been, I've been training for, in Tulsa, over eight years, easy. But it's more for the fact like my name good everywhere. You ain't never heard my name in the jam like, oh, well, he talked to this person, he still this person. No, I don't rock like that. Yeah, I feel that. So let me ask you this then. A lot of trainers get a lot of heat from training male feet, uh, uh, males to females differently. How do you go about that? Uh, for the most part, like I said, bro, it's just, just like you do tattoo, just like you do tattoo and business, your business is everything, bro. And I've told people from time over and over, like, you only get one shot in life, and that's your name and your brand. You shit on that, then it's a wrap. You can't come back from that. So you gotta keep everything business. Respect everyone. Treat them as far as you want people to treat your people. 